Hello, uh, my name is Murdo MacLeod. I am very happy to speak to you today. Your Sunday school teachers kindly invited me to say a few words. I was in the Sunday school in Ranish nearly 80, 80 years ago. I still thank God for learning and remembering stories from the Bible but also how I was to believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord, my Master, my Saviour. I was also taught how to listen, when and how to speak. I also learned to obey my parents and to believe about God and get to know my Bible. At the same time, on primary one, in then Ranish uh, Crossbust uh, Primary School, <coughs> um, I thought at first I will never be able to learn the English alphabet uh, it was only Gaelic I had when I went to school uh, and when I was asked to put uh, the alphabet into, into words and uh, to stand in front of the class trying to read in English. How could I ever do that well? God help me then, as a young, shy, sensitive boy, and I'm still learning from God and his word. Why do I say that? Well, was I refer you to... Uh, uh, First, First Samuel uh, chapters 2 and 3. Uh, and uh, for Samuel, who was so loved by his father and mother, and that they had waited a long time uh, uh, for many years, and they had prayed all the time to God to give them a family, and then Samuel arrived. What a joy, what a blessing, and now what name will Elkanah, the dad, and Hannah, the mum, what name will they give to their precious son? They called his name Samuel. That means asked of God. Now we learn good things about this family. They were praying to God. And why were they so happy? Because God answered their prayers. They decided to give their precious God-given boy back to God. It is important for us to pray to God, even when we are very young, and to continue to speak to God in prayer every day, <clears throat> among many other good reasons that is why church, Sunday school, youth fellowship, campaigners, scripture union in Skarnaloch, is not just enjoying worshipping together, but hearing and wondering, even marvelling, finding the answers to very difficult questions. It is good that we must learn every day. Now we read at the age of about 12, 13, Samuel was uh, 
serving, uh, worshipping, helping the priest Eli in God's house. He was uh, opening the doors for worship. He was uh, uh, preparing uh, the house for praying and for praise and for the offerings that were different in those days from the offerings and how we give our offerings to God now. He was learning to do many jobs, lighting candles. Jesus said, I am the light of the, of the world. During the night, uh, Samuel heard a voice he thought, well, it must have been Eli. There was no one else, but it was not Eli. The third time Samuel heard the voice and went to Eli the priest. It was then that Eli said, you reply by saying, speak, Lord, for your servant is hearing you. Samuel obeyed Eli. Sometimes it may be another person who needs to tell us it is God speaking. Maybe mum, it may be dad, maybe granny, it may be Shen, maybe the Sunday school teacher. Where will it take place? Well, maybe in church, maybe at home. When it pleases God to speak, just anywhere at all, when God speaks to his children. But we must listen every bit as carefully in church to the word of God as we do in the school uh, to learn. Uh, we have to learn and we will be examined on what we learn. Samuel thought it was Eli who was speaking to him, but we know it was God, wakening him up, but as we now know, it was indeed God who was speaking to Samuel. Our teachers in the Sunday school, in the youth fellowship, in campaigners, in the scripture union, speaking God's word to us. Uh, and maybe you think, well, am I a child of prayer the way Samuel was? Well, there are many, there are many if not all of us, who are children that we have been prayed for. Re prayer, it was very helpful for Samuel and for everybody who talked him from his very young days until he became old and wise as a judge, as a minister, a priest in Israel. It may well be the same now for all who will listen to God and believe that Jesus Christ, God's only Son, is speaking and that we are listening and hearing and also believing, then we will know it will make us even better boys and better girls for all the rest of our lives together. God bless you and help you in all you will ever learn, all you will ever do. Sincerely, and love to every precious one of you, Murdo MacLeod.